Hey guys, uh, so here we are again. Uh, I think I told y'all a couple weeks ago, might have been a little bit longer now. Um, I was going to get two, or I was going to order two of the Carcano carbines from Royal Tiger Imports. Um, this video is an unboxing of that. Um, what I was going to tell you also is I've got, um, I ended up getting uh, two. I got two different. Um, Basically, uh, I had two different selections. Um, one of them was a very good condition, pre-1918 dated, and then the other one, um, sorry, I'm trying to reference some stuff off camera here. The other one was in very good to excellent. Um, I didn't do any special hand select. Um, I didn't do any you know, special add-ons, no bore select, none of that stuff. I just basically bought them for what they were, and you know whatever we end up with is what we end up with and um you know for for instance uh i'm still looking off camera pardon me um the pre-1918 dated one um was 149 dollars they are now out of stock through royal tiger um and then the very good to excellent condition um i want to say i paid 174.99 for it um so without further ado, I have no idea which one's which, but I'm gonna open them up. We're gonna see what we got, see what uh, you know what you can expect. Um, if they happen to get any more of these back in, I don't know if they will. I mean, honestly, Royal Tiger is a little strange with their inventory practices. I know you guys have probably had some frustrations with that from time to time. So um, you know, it's uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of strange how they do things um, you know maybe they do have live inventory maybe they don't I, I don't have a clue um, but anyway let's see if we can get out of the box here as with most of their stuff shipping out recently it's always a box within a box um, this box strangely enough let me get this box off the table so we can take a look at this first one um, Interesting enough, it's not a not an IO ink mark box. Um, let's take a look at it. Let's get, let's get the order out of the way. Um, get the rifle out of here. Let's get the box out of the way. I will I will commend them. It's very nice to see this in bubble wrap as opposed to 400 million packing peanuts, which everybody hates. Um, Oh, and by the way, these are all advertised as coming with one free, uh, one free clip, in block clip, however you guys want to call it. Um, hopefully, they have this one, these tags, where I know which is which. Um, let's see, this one. <laughs> it's tagged, but uh, <laughs> it doesn't really tell me much. Um, let's see. Okay, so this must be the pre-1819, or the pre-1918. Um, so, let's look it over real quick. Just kind of give you guys an idea. Condition, the bluing's still good. This has actually got that older slide lock style, but it's seems relatively secure in there. So I can't complain about the bayonet here. Um, you know, we got a little bit of surface rust, nothing terrible. Um, just kind of show you guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. So it has a stock repair. It's actually a cracked stock right there. Oh, that really stinks. Um, I didn't think I'd get one with a cracked stock. Uh, I figured most of the time you, you know, the $99 ones ended up like that. Um, but I could possibly find another stock for it if I really had to. I mean, it is a repair. It's a very, very poorly done repair. Um, wow. Bolt's really tight. But once again, I mean, it's a, it's a 19... 
17 model. Um, I guess I should give you a close up of the bolt. Man, all the, I can tell you from everything I've seen out on YouTube, and you guys can, you know, check out everybody else's videos for the history on these things. Um, they are very rough. Um, don't expect something as smooth as glass because you're not going to get it. Um, well, you guys can see down inside. You know, it's a little rusty in there, a little bit of patina going on, but I don't think, we'll look at the bore off camera here. Yeah, the bore looks excellent. Um, you know, we got a little bit of rust marks. Um, on a good note, that upper hand guard isn't cracked. I kind of wish it had been cracked rather than the stock back here because the hand guard's a much easier replacement piece than a stock. Um, but, you know, let's see. Let's see if I can actuate the bayonet here. got a little bit of play but you know this isn't the this isn't the favored style for the for the bayonet retention um, and there's your import mark bio ink um, Melbourne Florida M91 Carcano 6.5 Italy um, but all in all you know It could it could have came out worse than it did. Um, you know, I think it looks pretty decent. Like I said, the only thing that gripes me is how badly cracked this stock is. And you know, honestly, um, I don't know if I'm going to say anything to him or not. You know, the way I am, a lot of times I just you know say the heck with it, and I'll just I'll fix it myself. Because um, that's just how I am. Um, you know, everybody's different. I get it. Not terrible. So, one thing I didn't tell you: this is a, a, a Brescia, Bresca. I don't know how you pronounce it. B R E S C I A. Um, and it is a 1917 marked. So this is likely one. You know, I mean, this is one of the older ones. This is what I wanted. You know, something that could have been possibly used in World War One and Two. Um, one of the main reasons I got it. I didn't get the 1917 to have one that was going to be, um, you know, a shooter per se or something that I definitely wanted to be shooting. I got it for the for the history behind it. Um, but all in all, you know, other than it's got the cartouche back here in the stock. You got some dings and dents and stuff. Um, one cool thing: this is the original stock. I mean, this is a nine. 9547 and when you look at the number you got T9547 so this is the original stock that came with it so that's pretty cool uh, even though it is cracked um, you know I, you know you, I guess you can kinda um, everybody's got their preferences a lot of people would rather have the matching stock even if it's got a big crack in it bust spot in it whatever just so that they have an all numbers matching carving so let me get this out of the way, and we'll take a look at the other one, which is not a pre-1917 specific, but a very good to excellent condition. Um, once again, another typical outer box. And I'll try to put screenshots from their site in the video here uh, where you guys can see, you know, what I selected on the website. You know, that way, in case they happen to come back in stock, you guys want to get one, you know, you can do that. <clears throat> and I'm, I apologize for my voice and clearing my throat, but I've got a full blown sinus infection, so I'm having a fun time. Alright, let's check this one out. Once I get it where we can open it. Okay, so this one 
is supposed to be the very good to excellent. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping <laughs> that overall it's much nicer. Um, you know, not that the metal condition was bad on the other one. It looks great. Um, I'm just hoping my stock isn't busted to pieces. Because I mean, honestly guys, I could have very easily just went out and bought one of the B grade ones just like everybody else did. But I wanted something, hopefully, it wasn't going to be missing parts. So, we'll see what we get. Once again, um, I, didn't, I don't think I mentioned it. Each one of them came with a free clip. Um, now, I did recently get on proxy bid, and I bought a bunch of these. And actually got some Carcano ammo with it. Uh, seeing as how it's so scarce right now, uh, I was really tickled about getting that. I, overspent but at least I have ammo I can shoot out of it okay well to be perfectly honest this one doesn't look much better than the other one uh, that's a three one two four I think no that's a three one two one it looks like this might have been re-stamped at some point I'm, best, I'm betting that's what they did. Um, this one is a 1918. Um, the metal actually looks better. The wood does not have any major cracks. Um, <laughs> this has got the really crappy style bayonet retention. This is one of the, I guess, the earlier ones. I hate this style. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. This is the one where you flip it down, you pull out, push it forward, push it in, flip it back up. You know, there's a reason they got away from this, and that's because they wouldn't stay in the deployed position, and they were folding up on troops. Um, but I digress. I mean, maybe, maybe I could have put in the comments you know that I wanted the push button style I don't know I didn't do that I didn't go crazy um, the bluing looks I guess it's kinda hit or miss on this one it looks better on the receiver for sure um, upper hand guard is not cracked um, and there's no busted spot now there's a lot of dings in the stock it does not have the cartouche of the 1917 one but you know it's a over a hundred year old rifle I mean you can't expect a lot now I will say this <clears throat> and it may be because this bolt is slathering some oil or grease or something it's actually smoother than the other one um, let me get it out of here um, now granted, it's pretty gunky. Actually, I'm sorry, it's Cosmoly, never mind. Um, it could definitely use some cleaning up. Um, but it looks fine. I mean, it looks just like my other bolt. Um, from what I understand, these were imported. The bolts were separate, so they just kind of put the bolts with them when they got them here. Um, let's lay that down. This doesn't have anything special on it. It's just got the serial number. <clears throat> But um doesn't appear it doesn't appear that there's anything missing. The only thing I hate is I do hate this bayonet style. Oh, I really hate it. Because listen. This thing's a rattle trap. But, you know, let me take a look at the bore. The bore looks excellent just like on the other one. Um So, you know, there we have it. Um, I'll grab the other one so you guys can see them side by side. Um, quite personally, you know, for what they are, you know, I think they both look decent. Um, I think this one's got more of a, this one looks like it's got more of a walnut stock on it. Um, but, strangely enough, I ended up with... A 1918 
and a 1917. Now, um, ordinarily, I'd probably be a little upset about this 1917 because it's got a busted stock. However, um, I also have a, um, a number one Mark III Lee Enfield that is dated 1917. So, I thought that's really cool. Um, it's also got a 1917 bayonet with it. Um, so, I mean, this may be one of the, you know, one of the, uh, I don't know, one of the ones that gets paired with it uh, in my collection. But like I said, let me show you that, that crack again. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty gnarly crack. And they did repair it. <laughs> I wouldn't say they did a great job. Um, you know, I guess I could keep this stock on here or I could, you know, try to put a replacement on it. Um, I don't know you guys can let me know if you know of any places that have replacement ones. Um, I know of I know of places to get replacement handguards, but not necessarily stocks. Um, once again, uh, just as a summary, I did get uh, <laughs> the most undesirable bayonet attachment and probably the second most undesirable bayonet attachment or bayonet style folding style. Um, the push button is definitely the best, um, but you know that being said, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, you can you can change these this whole front sight and bayonet piece out, you know, if I really wanted to. Um, but you know, I didn't get this for for looks. I mainly got it for historical purposes, um, just because I was thinking, well, you know, it's a six five Percano. At first, it didn't appeal to me, but I'm thinking, hey, you know, this is cheap. Um, I'll go see what I can get. Um, they don't look terrible. Um, you know, they are all together. They're not missing anything. Um, bores on both look good. Bolts, you know, it's a Carcano boat, bolt. Uh, can't say much there. I didn't see that. Um, looks like there might be a little bit more patina going on on this rear sight. But, I mean, a lot of it, I think, is just just dirty. Um, there's probably, there's probably going to be a little bit of rust under here. So, I may do a second video, uh, kind of taking these out of the wood, so you can kind of see what it looks like under the wood. But, you know, these are the ones that were imported by Royal Tiger from Italy, so these are naturally going to be in better shape than what came out of Africa. Um, but here you go. You know, here's two examples, you know, pre-1918. Uh, I think it was, I think I said it was in either good or very good. And then just nothing, no pre-1918 date, just one that said very good to excellent. Um, <laughs> as you guys can see, I don't think there's a lot of difference. Uh, I paid $149 for this. I paid $175 for this. Um, hindsight, <laughs> I probably should have just got the B-grade Carcanos. Um, but, you know, I did want a pre-1918. I didn't even look and see what the... Yeah, that one's a... That's a Bres, Brescia, Bresca as well. Uh, so both of them are the same same manufacturer. Two different dates. And two of the, I think, three uh, bayonet securement methods... Or bayonet securement styles that they had. Um, so I think that's kind of neat. Um, would I venture to get a third? I don't know. That's kind of iffy. So, anyway, if you guys like this video, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. That'll keep you guys up to date on more unboxings that I do. Um, and quite frankly, you know, I just want you guys to be informed of, you know, what the offerings are out there and what you can expect. Um, I know Military Surplus Carbon Collector, I think his actually ended up looking a little better than mine. Um, but, you know, he talked with Uli personally. Um, I didn't, I chose not to do that this time. Um, I have in the past, when I got my, my, uh, my number four Mark I's, um, but I was looking for things, spe specific things with those rifles. Um, but, like I said, I'm going to go back and uh, insert pictures of the boards for both of these, and then I might do another video where I tear these down. You guys can see what they look like under the wood. So, like I said, uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, let your friends know. And hopefully um, I'll have some more content for you guys coming up soon. Thanks, everybody, for watching.